Hey there, it's Kim. I just got back from Chicago. I was speaking at a medical conference to share mind-body medicine, EFT, um, a lot of really amazing concepts with other doctors. And a lot of these are doctors who are seeing patients with severe chronic pain and really kind of at their wit's end for what is it that's gonna really help this person? Like I'm doing all these injections, I'm giving medications, but I know there's way more of a mental, emotional component that's not being addressed. And so to help like kind of bring it all together um, was a huge, huge piece for them and really um, to have those resources was pretty awesome. So it was, it was cool, people were so receptive to that, but also um, just bringing that awareness of you're not separate from your patient your inner state has a direct and immediate effect on what's going on with everyone around you. And this is so core to the practice of medicine because usually we go in, we're in a situation, we're kind of like, oh, we got four minutes, we gotta make it happen, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. We're not really present to receive in that interaction or to contribute in a deeper way. So it was pretty awesome to share about how, you know, the body is electromagnetic and how our electromagnetics affect the electromagnetics of our patient and immediately invite them into a deeper conversation, into a deeper exchange, into a, a presence where they can release what they're holding so healing can happen. Um, I think it's gonna be a major change in medicine um, when this begins more and more and more to be incorporated into the model we're operating in, not seeing ourselves as separate, not seeing um, you know, that like, well, my inner state doesn't matter, it's just what I do or what I know, but there's so much more than that that we bring to the table. When we're heart-centered for others, it creates an immediate shift in their system. We can see this physically, chemically, hormonally. We can see this in their brain state. So your inner state, your harmony or the opposite, your discord, not only creates changes in your body and in your brain, but it actually has a, an effect on everyone around you. I shared a little bit about this in the Mind Body Live last week um, in the Mind Body TV episode, um, but there's, it's really pretty profound and there's a ton of research on this. So it was really cool to present that to other doctors and kind of like awaken them to this deeper realm of what's going on. But for all of us, it's so important to remember that, that your thoughts, your ideas, your beliefs, holding judgment or frustration or anger or you know, resentment you can't be in freedom when you hold that. Your body is feeling it and so is everyone around you. So if you really wanna to begin to open up to like higher freedom, fluidity, wealth, health, abundance, go there first, go toward the pain, not away from it. Ask your body, body, what's going on? What do you need? Do you need my attention? What's happening today? And just your presence can be really healing and allowing these energies to release. Um, I also have a program called Ignite Your Light that's starting live this week where I'll assist you with this personally to release these energies from the body, mentally, physically, emotionally, the conclusions, assumptions, judgments, things that you're holding that you may not even realize are having an effect on everything in your life. So I'm super excited to share that because even the physical body, just letting the physical body know like we can let this go, this tension, this way of holding, this way of protecting. One of the things that was crazy that came up this weekend was um, I was asking questions of the audience and at one point I was like, you know, share what you've written down, what happened when we did that exercise and this woman was looking right at me, really engaged. And I said, go ahead. She just stared at me, like deer in the headlights. And there was this big long pause because I just left space for her to kind of jump in. It wasn't even that, like it was a loving group. It wasn't like a bunch of people judging you or, you know, but we think they are. She sat there in total silence and I said, come on, yeah, just go ahead, anything. And just stared at me. And I thought, what the heck is going on? And so one of my friends later said, you know, people are so afraid of public speaking. They are more terrified of giving a eulogy than of being dead. <laughs> They're more terrified of giving the eulogy than being the one who the funeral is for. And I thought, oh my God, it's so true. That's, that's really such a, the fear that drives us. So it doesn't make any sense, but we do hold this fear, carry this fear. It determines everything that we're doing. And it's time to let that go. 
So if you do want to join me live, I would love to assist you with this because this is really moving beyond that space of um, not honoring our worth, feeling worthless, feeling inadequate, or living in fear, a lot of these things. So um, it'll be an amazing, amazing process. I'll include the link for that here for sure. It's at drkimd.com forward slash ignite. Uh, but either way, just being aware of this is... Um, is gonna create more for you. Just letting yourself breathe and release these old ways of being. If you do wanna work with me, with me live, I would love to have you in the program so you can click the link. Um, so sharing lots of love with you. Feel free to share this video with others that you know. There's so much more that's possible for us when we honor what we feel instead of trying to run away from it or suppress it. And that's really the pattern, especially with doctors. We have been so much trained to do because there's this idea we have to know it all. We have to be able to do the right thing, <sighs> be the medicine. And, and this includes anyone who is a practitioner or not, but for everyone around you, certainly for your body and be the medicine for your world because you do have that power within you when you honor yourself, when you allow that alignment, when you're willing to feel what you feel, you're not gonna be run by these programs anymore. I'm at drkimd.com if you'd like more and I'll see you in the next video.